Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome back to Body for Days by Jerrica. If you are new here, hi, I'm Jerrica. Subscribe, okay? Subscribe, subscribe. If you want to show some support to my channel, subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below, and let me know where you're watching from. After this video, visit my website at Body for Days by Jerrica, where I give you at home low impact workouts and just food plans, meal plans, everything you need to start your overall health and wellness journey. Right now, I'm getting ready to make a high protein ground beef bowl high protein heavy on the protein okay um i am on a weight loss journey again after losing girl almost 100 pounds i am on a weight loss journey again all right so with that being said today we're gonna go high protein um my goal and i want to know your goal too so make sure you comment is to go high protein for fat loss okay so I know I look good, you know. I know I, I, I know that I, I know that you might oh she look good, she she kind of popping. But I want to focus on building muscle, strength training, and with that I need protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the ingredients, and then we're gonna start making our bowl. This is gonna be quick and easy. Um, I got everything from my local grocery store, and I did not have to go far and wide for these things. Okay, so y'all ready? Okay, so the first thing we have here. Here is our lean ground beef okay and I do use a tracker to track my calories um, I will try to link it below but this is a hundred percent beef and it's 90 93% lean and 7% fat okay so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this added to my skillet I'm gonna show you guys all my seasonings that I'm going to use and I am going to season this baby okay there might be a little sodium if you do not like sodium and you're watching your sodium watch your sodium but I am going to add seasoning to this I was gonna do a meal prep but I used the other ground beef yesterday um, when I was making a, a bowl like I'm gonna make today and baby when I tell you it was a one day one a one I was filled and I ate it for lunch didn't think about a snack, didn't think about eating, didn't think about nothing. I had an amazing workout. After the workout, I had my protein and this was my source of protein. And I also add veggies and everything, so let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our ground beef to our skillet and put it on medium heat. Now, you don't need no oil. Don't add any oil to it. Your ground beef is going to make its own grease. Okay, you don't need grease on top of grease. Um, there's no need to add any oil on here. First thing I like to do is to break my ground beef down in my pan first. Um, again, like I said, and listen to me, listen to me clearly, do not add any oil. It's gonna create its own oil, all right? So the first thing I'm going to add is some garlic. So you can add garlic that's already uh, minced like this, or you can you can buy your own garlic cloves. I mean, whatever floats your boat, whatever was good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay. Um, this is about a tablespoon that went into it um, for my garlic grills. You can add more next We're going to add some taco seasoning and this is the old El Paso taco seasoning um, And it is 15 calories. It has about 300 milligrams of sodium zero saturated fat and zero sugar so just letting y'all know, you know, I don't gatekeep and I don't hide anything away from my from, from my from my girls and my guys. Um, and I do season to taste, especially with this, because I'm already on a weight loss journey. I'm already restricting myself of stuff, and I'm not I'm, I'm not about to deprive myself any further. Okay. Um, so yeah. So I put my taco seasoning in there. The next thing we're going to add is some fine ground black pepper and if you know you know I got this big things from Sam's Club um, it's where we get all of our stuff um, from I'm just going to add some pepper to, to taste okay I don't want you to be like oh Jerry gave me some bland to eat no I didn't no I didn't that's on you 
Next thing I'm going to add is some pollo. Now we had a discussion on my last video when I made a salad. They do have the low sodium pollo and they do have um, low sodium seasoning that I'm about to use and no salt, okay? Just for you guys who are watching your salt intake, um, use your low sodium stuff as you use, that is absolutely fine. So I'm just adding about two tablespoons of my chicken bouillon. And that's all for my seasonings, okay? That's it, okay? That's it. I'm actually gonna split this in half. Because what I'm about to do to my portion, my husband is not gonna like. Because he's gonna be like, why did you put that stuff in my stuff? You know I don't eat that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I didn't know I thought you would eat it. <laughs> Y'all know how we do. So, this is on medium to low heat. So our family eat the same thing. And most of the time, yes we do. It's just a little bit seasoned differently because I like certain things that my uh, family does not eat as far as vegetables, so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna put this, cook this on the side for my husband. And then here is my portion of, this is my portion of protein. Okay. So with my ground beef that I'm cooking, I'm going to add um, some onion, some bell pepper, some, onion, bell pepper, and a little bit of tomato. Now this was already pre-cut, and you see I got this I got this container from Amazon, but you can find it at your local store, okay? And I'm going to add this to my skillet here so it can cook with the meat. Ooh, just tons of veggies. Give me those veggies. My portion, I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne because I like mine a little bit spicy. Now that's just me. I should add some to my husband too. <laughs> he gonna watch this. I'm like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Y'all was like, you put so much cayenne, you immune to it. I love me some spicy food, okay? All right, so this is cooking up. All right, so my other ground beef over here is cooking up for my husband and he likes his real, real basic. Well, he loves seasoning. He actually likes putting tomato sauce in his, but I'm not going to do that for mine. Now you can meal prep this as well. If I was eating this just for me, I would meal prep this. I would put it into my meal prep container and I would go about my day, okay? So this is how it's looking from cooking. Now don't worry, soon as my meat started to brown a little bit more, I am going to go ahead and mix it all together. Again, this is great for meal prepping as well. And this is great for um, if you're on a time crunch, like me half of the time. Um, so right now I have two people waiting on lunch and my son, everybody's just waiting, okay? So I'm just like, okay. So I'm actually tracking how long it's taken me so far. So, so far I'm in 10 minutes in into this recipe. Okay, so since we're browning, I'm gonna go ahead and get my veggies mixed in. As you can see, like I told you guys, it makes its own oil. Don't, don't put oil on things that don't need oil. You just add an extra stuff because that's all we know, okay? If it does not need oil, don't add it. Okay guys, since we're all brown, okay, I'm going to use a little bit of cheddar cheese and I'm gonna put this into the pan. Now, you can use fat-free cheese, um, I'm going to use about one fourth cup of cheese and I'm just going to add it into the skillet, okay? Just add it on top. And you're gonna get it mixed thoroughly throughout. And I don't know about you guys, but I like, I love my ground beef cooked okay thoroughly <laughs> um just like i like my egg if i was to eat a hamburger which i don't very very often i like my hamburger cooked thoroughly okay all right guys so let's go ahead and get our bowl together the first thing we're gonna do is add our shredded lettuce 
Now you can go ahead and buy this lettuce already shredded or if you want to buy a, 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 a thing of lettuce and get it shredded, you can do that as well. So first thing we're doing is getting our bed of lettuce down. And this already came shredded, so all I had to do was rinse it and get it ready. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our protein to our bowl. OMG, you guys. Oh God. We already have our cheese in there. The next thing we're going to do is add one cup of corn. I promise you, you won't need anything else with this bowl. On top, remember those cut veggies that we had? We're gonna add some more veggies on top. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some cilantro to, to the top. Lastly, if you want more flavor, you can add a little bit of hot sauce. Now, hot sauce is zero calories. Um, it does have, and this hot sauce here has like 4% sodium, okay? You can drizzle a little bit of hot sauce on it. Use any hot sauce that you have. Um, I'm just gonna get a little bit added to the top of my bowl here. All right, are y'all ready to give our bowl a taste? If you want more videos like this, if you love this high protein bowl, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Visit bodyfordays.com. Tag me when you try this recipe of Body for Days by Jerica. I'll see you guys on the next video.